Today we're going to talk about trains. A, a little bit, yeah. We are still at the Bennett's house. It's still ramping up towards Christmas and things are going to start happening. Just watch. You just wait and see. Things will happen. If you'd like to hear a longer version of this episode in which more things happen, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Ashley Clements. My name is Ashley Clements. And my name is Mary-Kate Wiles. Choo-choo! <laughs> choo-choo! This is Chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga
Someone in the comments <laughs> recently said that, like, I, my Mr. Bennett sounded like my Darcy, and I was like, okay, well, that's just me trying to sound like a man then. Yeah, come on. <laughs> that's just me going like, I'm a man. <laughs> but I also think that, like, I didn't know how to make fun of Mr. Bennett because mm -hmm. Lizzie and Mr. Really. Bennett like each other. They align. Yeah. He's so likable. Meh. See, we've got our little button of this very important train whistle. But more importantly, we're going to have a party. Also establishing that Lizzie doesn't even remember Forgot when Lydia's sister's birthday. birthday is. Which, you know, she should know. That shouldn't be yeah. something that she's, like, surprised by. To be fair, my brother's birthday is in December, and it also always sneaks up on me in a way where I'm like, oh, gosh, shoot. Yeah. I gotta get him something for not just Christmas, but also his birthday. Feel for all you December babies. What does um, Sagittarius Oh, well, Lydia would be a Sagittarius. Horoscope? I don't really know much about any of the zodiac signs beyond. Well, my now own, the so. comments are all that. I'm also not. Oh, really? Who... Are they? No, I'm just guessing. I'm saying that, like. Oh, they will be all about this. Yes. Yes, but it's interesting. That's just an interesting point. That like I feel like astrology has never not been a trend, but it's a particular type of trend now. My quick Google of Sagittarius mm -hmm. says. Sagittarians are optimistic, lovers of freedom, hilarious, mm. fair-minded, wow. honest, and intellectual. They are spontaneous and fun, usually with a lot of friends wow. and good this conversationalists. Is... So I don't think they planned that, but it worked out, I think. That's very appropriate. Yeah, I, I think I know enough that I think timing-wise that Lizzie is a Pisces. Yes. What day um, is Lizzie's birthday? It's St. Patrick's it's Day. It's earlier Speaking in... of sharing oh, holidays. Right. Lizzie and but, Charlotte's birthday. And Charlotte. But I haven't looked that up. But what I think is interesting, <laughs> to get back to the thing I was saying like 14 minutes ago, that they were so interested in analyzing Harry Potter houses, number one, uh -huh. like uh -huh. above all. And I've also seen a yeah. little bit of Myers-Briggs and like yes. Enneagram, but mostly Harry Potter, which really does also speak to the time. Like this was yes. a big, big Not anymore. deal in 2012. And yeah. And no shade to people who are still enjoying Harry Potter and able to separate it from the creator. But uh, at any rate, it is not as popular in the zeitgeist. It wouldn't be everyone's like go-to way to analyze a right. character. But so at the time we were having all these conversations about like, what's Harry Potter house? But it, it's, I've never heard, doesn't mean it hasn't happened, but I've never heard anyone discuss the like astrological signs of these characters. We also don't know most of their birthdays. Like we never celebrate right. James' well, birthday. Well, I think- just doesn't that's happen. part of it is that you don't usually oh yeah that's true <laughs> considering it's full year we don't usually in works of fiction have like definitive birthdays for characters and right jane's birthday could fall between the end of the series which was right at the end of march and the first episode was april 7th so her birthday could be like april fools or something <laughs> and that's or you could have just it. chosen to not mention it maybe you were busy at uh, Collins and Collins or Pemberley. It's funny because like, to your point, most shows we watch the same characters year after year and don't every year or ever necessarily like acknowledge a birthday unless it's a useful plot device. Mm -hmm. And here, mm -hmm. this is the first time a birthday comes up on mm -hmm. the show because it was a useful plot device for mm -hmm. a party, for Lizzie to have forgotten her sister's birthday, for Lizzie to mm -hmm. need to give presents to Lydia mm -hmm. that I all became these a really useful tool and that is why this birthday happens but also we were so used to experiencing these characters as like real, real people. people we had just sort of not, there were no birthdays nobody had birthdays it wasn't a big thought process and then this happened and then everyone started asking well like when's Lizzie's birthday like when's Lizzie bir Lizzie's birthday right. and I d I did remember saying to Bernie like they have a good point like this is my show and he was like yeah don't worry about it and obviously like it came up but no one ever told me what the plan was in in a way that made me go like but do you have a plan because yeah you usually tell me the plan and in this case <laughs> you keep telling me not to worry about it what is the plan 
And then they What's found the a way to use the birthday. And then poor Lizzie and Darcy have the same anniversary as ber- as her birthday. Like, ultimately, oh, yeah. less than ideal. I hadn't thought of that. I suppose so. Well, champagne no problems one. for those rich people. Let's take a look <laughs> at the comments. Say, they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Diane Minus says... This is when Lydia's hair, skin, and wardrobe get really pale, right when Wickham comes back and sucks I'm just pale out of and soul out of her. I mean, that's what what I don't understand is like that is a choice that you made later. Yes, not here. Here I was just trying to wear sweaters in in post Wickham. They're not wrong about it in terms of the Wickham mark. There was a choice made. She's just wrong about the timing because- But yeah, here, I would not say that here's that's part of it. Also, my hair and my skin just are what they are. I know. (laughs) My clothes, yes. (laughs) But I'm just a very pale person. Well, likewise, like we are little (laughs) ghosties. That's why we can get away with red hair because we're so pale. Yes. That's what I say. Anytime people are like, wow, red hair suits you. Like, they're surprised I'm not a natural redhead. I'm like, yeah, it's because I'm real pale. Yeah. Same Z's. Yes, but you're back to blonde. I am. So now I'm just a full ghost. (laughs) Hashtag goals. Nikki Nack 3 says, can't believe Lizzie forgot Lydia's birthday. I would never dream of forgetting my little sister's birthday. Yeah, I mean. I mean. To, not to be fair, she really shouldn't. But she has had a lot going on. Trying to be kind to her. Yeah, I mean, like, you could say she's been away from her, like, wall calendar, maybe, because she didn't take it with her. (laughs) It's easy to get wrapped up and forget what day it is. She absolutely could have set a reminder in a digital calendar in 2012 that for sure existed at that point, and she chose not to, you know. She's a grad (laughs) student who, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. It's very kind of you, but... Some stuff's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, and I will continue to give her the benefit of the doubt through this whole fight so we can take <laughs> different sides. Perfect. Yeah, Kaylin perfect. Harris says that Lizzie and Mr. Bennett both wear plaid as their costume theater representation. Coincidence? I think not. I don't actually remember if we had conversations about that. Because I was just the, noticing that this time for the first time. No, we established really that the robe so early. Oh, it's a robe. Yeah. It's a robe. Which, why would you be wearing a hat and a robe? I think it is a coincidence, but I don't, I appreciate when people think that we're more clever than we are. <laughs> but the Lizzie Bennett costume theater shirt was just kind of decided on the fly on the right. first shooting day. And how could you have known what a monumental decision that was? I know. At the time. But it also feels right. Like I... I like that yeah. for her. That weird girl says we'll never hear the end of it until she does. This is the modern equivalent of her going to Meriton to be surrounded by all the militia guys and run into Wickham. Yes, that's correct. Good job. Katie, we agree. Lydia's sweaters are so freaking cute. I don't remember where this sweater came from or who it belonged to, but it was very cute. And Beth Grace says, and finally, some advocacy for the difficulties of being born in December. Ripe and moan all you want, everyone, but having a birthday really close to the most recognized and practiced holiday in America really sucks sometimes. I believe that. I very much believe that. Here for you, December babies. Actually, then a bunch of comments like that. So, yes. Representation for the December born. We are continuing to set up important stuff. Stick around to see what happens. 